Hey YouTubers, good morning, it's Rob Muffet. Today we're going to talk about the top four things you can do if your dashboard lights go out on your car. You know, you get in your car, it's daytime, you drive for a long time, it gets to be dark. You look down and you can't see your speedometer. You can't see the markings on your gear shift, on your automatic. You've lost your lights. What are you going to do? Maybe uh, you've been at a party and you come out your car, it's nighttime, you get in your car and you can't see the light on your speedometer or your gas gauges. What are you going to do? Here's the top four things to work on just about any car. And uh, we're going to start with the least likely thing that you'd want to do. Working down to the most likely thing that you want to do. <laughs> Number four. If uh, you can't see your lights on your dash, maybe you blew a bulb. Now you're, you can take out your dash assembly there. It's not that hard. I've got an old car. It's a 94, two, 1994 Corolla, old, old car. And I can find a video on YouTube on how to disassemble the dash and take out the uh, the dash assembly and, and then change the bulbs. If you do go through that rigmarole, that bit fidgety mess of taking all those wires out and taking the bulbs out, make sure you get some good bulbs. Go get the uh, original manufacturer bulbs from Toyota or whatever company your car is. Don't buy the cheap bulbs. You might burn out in a couple years. Get the good, you know, you're, you're going to spend another 50 cents. <laughs> Get the good bulbs. The, uh, the next thing you want to do, number three, is uh, sometimes, this sounds kind of crazy, but if you're uh, on some cars, if your parking light or your turn signals go out, you're uh, making a mess up your wiring and you can, or they might even have it for a specific purpose to let you know that one of your lights are out. That could cause your dashboard lights to get out, so go out and check your car. I had a Volkswagen one time, and uh, 20 years ago, the uh, tail light went out. I put in a bulb it, instead of a single filament. I put a double filament, or maybe it's vice versa. But whenever, <laughs> after I did that, whenever I put my foot on the brake, the horn would blow. Just about drove me crazy trying to figure that out. So see if you got a light out. Number three, and and then change it. Number two, the obvious one is check your fuses. And uh, these are going to be your small fuses like your 10 amp, 15 amp, not those big relays underneath your hood. Just find out where you got your, your fuses for all your little lights in your car and check them. I and you can usually look and see if they're good, but if you can't find any other problem, you can get out the voltmeter and check them just to be sure. The last number one, probably the most important, is... Uh, When's the last time you looked at your dimmer switch? Do you know you have a dimmer switch? Have you ever used a dimmer switch? I've been driving for over 40 years. I've never used a dimmer switch. But you know what? If somebody gets in your car and they turn that dimmer switch so all your lights are off on your dash, you could have an adventure. So number one, check your dimmer switch. Gottfried Daniels. So those are the four things. Now if Son of love. none of those four things work, <laughs> You can go to the dollar store and get you a clip on light and wear your hat, put on your hat, and uh, need to see your dashboard, you can use your light on your hat. So that's my tip for the week, guys. Hope it helps. Booger. I hope people don't mess with your freaking dimmer switch. Gottfried Daniels.